Hello everybody, welcome back to Kraken Packs MTG. Today we have a battle. We have Redbeard, which it's his birthday, and he said, Matt, I want to do a battle with you. I said, sure. We will do a Somerset battle because it's winter time, it's cold, and I'm already ready for some warm weather. And this is Redbeard. This is exactly how he looks. This is me. That's not how I look. But anyways, here we go. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Like the video, leave me a comment that we get on the giveaways. Check out the Magnolia Gaming affiliate links in the description. And I'm going to have Redbeard stuff linked as well, so please check him out. And if you don't know what the summer sets are, it is Conspiracy 1, Conspiracy 2, Modern Horizons, and Battle Bond. I think it goes in this order, actually. So let's keep them in order. We've got five packs of each. We're going to total it up, see who gets the highest value, and that person will be the winner. So let's move our avatars to the side here. And let's get to cracking. I will, uh, I'll start myself. That way we can get that out of the way. And see how it goes. All right, here we go. Stave off. When is this? 2014. This is getting old. The original conspiracy. Six years ago. Almost seven years ago now. I can't believe it's been that long. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I got my new secret layer play mats in from the uh from the new one that's coming out and this is the seb mckinnon damnation so i wonder if that means we're going to get the uh get the actual secret layer sooner than they anticipated silent arbiter to start things off oh that's a foil exploration holy smokes right off the bat um yeah that's a good foil rare right especially out of conspiracy so that's a Really good pack for myself there. And then we get our another rare here, a deal broker. Wow, that's a triple rare pack. Heck yeah. We'll take that. Redbeard has some catching up to do. Unless the rest of these packs are absolute trash. I've got a really good start going here. Traveler's Cloak was the second card in the last pack as well. Devils, Howling Wolf, Scaled Worm. Core Chant, Volcanic Fallout. I think there's maybe one uncommon out of this set that's worth some money, the uh, Treasonous Ogre. And a Stifle, wow. I forgot how good this original Conspiracy set was. And there's our Conspiracy card. So we've got an Exploration and a Stifle already, heck yeah. And I think this is a set that has the uh, the alternate K in it, right? If you get the, the foil K a Ghost Assassin, it's alternate art. I think there may be another alternate art card in here as well if you hit it in foil. But I think our odds for that have went out the window with the foil expiration in the first pack. But you never know. Grinzo's Rebuttal. Okay, let's make some ogres. Whisper Gear. Sneak. A lot of these cards I don't remember at all. I guess. I guess six, seven years is a long time. All right, last pack of Conspiracy 1 until we move on to Conspiracy 2. We may do Redbeard's Conspiracy. We, we, may, we may take turns to add a little suspense to the battle here. Factor Fiction. Explorer Scope. Ooh, a Hydra Omnivore. I don't think it's worth a ton, but it's our first Mythic. Foil Spy. And just a random card in the back there yeah i did really well conspiracy one let's see how redbeard does we're going to move over to redbeard again that's him he even cosplayed it the other day in his facebook post the resemblance is striking all right here's redbeard's first conspiracy one pack brainstorm's nice and i think all we're going to count in the battle is probably the mythics and rares just to make things easy. Quicksand. Wolf Briar Elemental with Multi Kicker. Oh, Cogwork Grinder. And a Squirrel Token. These may start to go up in value with uh, with Caldheim. Let me put my cards up here too. That way everybody can see. Because people kind of bust me up in the comments about not having the hits on, on cam. So let me let me do that. Oh, I didn't open my last one. I got one more conspiracy pack left, don't I? Oh, man, I didn't open my last one. We'll have to uh, we'll have to go back to that. 
hitting that foil rare threw me off. That's okay though. Nothing wrong with that. Stasis cell, rousing of souls, stag, searchlight, magister of worth. That's a really cool angel. She's wearing like a French maid uh, outfit. Wow, wow, wee wow. And a world knit. Interesting. Elephant token. Really digging this, this conspiracy one. I forgot how cool it was. Available now. OG Theros. We've already been there twice now. Power of Fire. Scaled Worm. Vampires. Assassinate. Provoke. Is that Fibble Thip? He's not blue. So, is that just a green homunculus? Wood Sage. Gamekeeper, Plea of Power. And another rare, Aether Searcher. Really neat. I can't believe I missed a pack of mine. I was so excited about the, uh, the foil expiration. I completely forgot I had another pack sitting there. Unhallowed Pact, Stasis Cell, Alter's Reap, Death Reap Ritual. We've seen this quite a few times already. Ooh, little Therese Nilsson Swords of Plowshares action there. Skeletal Scrying, Reign of the Pit. Really cool artwork. I like any time they put black and purple together in artwork. It really, really, the, co the colors complement each other, especially in magic art usually. Okay, this is Red Moon's last one. We'll have to ease back over to my side and finish my last conspiracy. Then we'll start conspiracy two for me because I fubbed it up. My bad, everybody. Spider, Quag Vampires, Enforcer, Reap again, Green Homunculus. Let's see, is it in the Never Start a Fight You Can't Finish Padrill? That I don't know. I don't know. Is he Padrill? I don't think so. I think he might just be a Green Homunculus. Skeletal Scrying again, and Drake's Towns. Forgotten, that artwork is creepy. As I'll get out, Sentinel Dispatch, and that was five for Redbeard. Let me go back over here. This is my last conspiracy. And then we'll jump on to the Queen Marchesa packs. Beast Rider, Mana Geyser, Pitchburn Devils, Courage, Elvish Aberration, Respite, Guardian Zendicon, Lead the Stampede, Terrestridon, Cogwart Librarian. Okay, that's okay. We'll take a Terrestridon. The rest of the packs are pretty strong. All right, now we're going to move back on to Conspiracy 2. Take the crown. This is where the ever popular Monarch mechanic came from. Prey Upon, Unicorn. Law Mage, Hydra, Capital Punishment, Council's Dilemma, Descent, and nothing there. I don't remember what the big hits out of this. I mean, I do remember what the big hits are. I just don't know where they're at now because they got reprinted to Mystery Boosters and whatnot and Jump Starts. So I don't know where everything's sitting. I know Queen Marchesa is not as big as she used to be. Salvala is not as big. Expropriate's not. <laughs> and, of course, I hit the expropriate at one point in time. This was a $50 card. Um, not sure where it might be, might be now, but I know it's not 50 bucks anymore. But we did get it. So, hook it up, man. That's what's, that's what's going on. Oh, oh, did I just open one of Redbeard's pack? I, th I think I opened one of Red This is one of Redbeard's packs. I'm getting all kind of out of order. So we will have to uh, we'll have to put this over in Redbeard stack. I'm used to going stack to stack, and it's I'm I'm all, oh we got a Savala, okay, hit for hit there, nice nice. Let me make sure that's what I did. And there's a hold their perimeter. Yep, open one Redbeard's pack. Okay, that's okay though. We'll we'll get it back on track. 
this is a mess of a battle but we will, we will get there we will definitely get there metaplasm and a skyline despot i think that's a good hit too really good hit all right It's gonna take us about ten packs to get uh, for me to get get in a groove and not mess us up anymore. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. Maybe you can keep up with what's going on. Follow the footsteps. I think this was originally out of Ravnica. A crow and hoplite, Valor, nothing. Ogre Sentry, Ruffians, Harvester of Souls. That's a creepy looking guy, isn't it? Emissary's Ploy, and nothing. All right, now maybe we can get things straight. We've already opened the first pack of Redbeard's Conspiracy 2. He hit the Solvala, which kind of, I think that gets us pretty even because I hit the Expropriate in my first pack. So that kind of evens the playing field ever so slightly. Bronze Sable, Hunter, Peacock, Plasm, and a Stunt Double with a Sinuous Vernum, Vermin, Hired Heist, and a Beast Token. Fester Gloom, Ghostly Procession, Vermin again, Sulfurous Blast, love that card. He got a Berserk, too. Oh, my gosh. This box is so... This is a god box of, of Conspiracy 2 because we got Expropriate, Solvala, and a Berserk now. Wow, what a box. And we've only opened a couple packs out of it. That's insanity. Congrats on the Berserk, Redbeard. Face reward. And then we will go to the last pack of conspiracy here. In question of Kozilek, Inquisition of Kozilek. This was a uncommon that got upshifted to a rare. Still a good hit. Right, I think the I think the play playing field or the the totals are going to be pretty close currently. Um, I think the only thing that might have me ahead is the foil rare. We'll see. We'll see. And these do have the the nice tabs of pull printed in Japan. So let's see what we get out of this battle bomb pack. Nurkin of Reverent. Nurkana Revenant. However you want to say it. A Swords of Plowshares. We just keep hitting gas. These sets are so good. These sets are way underrated. So good. I can't believe they're still so cheap. I think the only thing that kept these the prices of these boxes down is the fact that most of the stuff, Tide Spout Tyrant, that's a little value. Most of these cards got reprinted in subsequent sets. If not, these boxes would easily be over $200 a piece. There's a couple that are already there, like approaching $200, but they're not quite there. But with everything else starting to spike and go up in price, it wouldn't surprise me if these got there pretty soon. Sooner than later. Because the sets are just so good. The uh, the EV, or your return on the box, is typically higher than most sets. Just because there's so many good cards. Especially for Commander. Mind's Eye. More value, especially Battle Bond. Battle Bond is just, and Modern Horizons. It's just, there's so many cards in there that are just, very rarely do you open a pack that you don't at least get a buck or two out of. It does happen, but not terribly often. Screeching buzzer and a sea of clouds. More value. And these, uh, these partner lands out of the set, they would be, I think they'd be approaching, you know, $20 a piece or so, $15, $20 a piece if we didn't get the reprint 
in expeditions. That's just my two cents. All right. I think I'm, I'm squarely in the lead now after the Battle Bond packs. Let's see if Redbeard can catch up. These are Redbeard's Battle Bonds and a Foil Rocks Brute with <laughs> these boxes and packs. <laughs> Can't even talk. They're so good. That's like a $20 Spell Seeker. Wow. Just when I think I've got it wrapped up, Redbeard rips the Spell Seeker. It's incredible. These sets are so good. Swamp. And the crowd goes wild in foil with a Noosecraft mob. This is one of the few cards that the Goblin Raise Runners that you don't want to see out of these packs. Unless you're looking for those cards. Which you don't want to have to spend what these packs cost to get that though. Redbeard, what do we have here? Mystic Confluence. That's a couple dollar value. Like I'm saying, there's just value. There's partners, the Weavers, and the Uncommon slot. There's just so much value in these packs. Let's play a drinking game. Take a drink every time I say value. See where that gets us. Forest. Pure and Toothy. Oh my goodness. That's so neat. Love these guys. That's more value for Redbeard. All right, last Battle Bond pack. Then we'll move on to Modern Horizons 1, or MH1, as it's referred to on the bottom of the card. Swamp Arcane Artisan, or Artisan. I'm giving both pronunciations of the cards today. I don't know why. I'm probably wrong on both of them. Beast Within, a little bit of income and value there, but we're discounting the Mythics and the Rares. Wow, this is going to be a close one. This is really going to be a close one. I think it's going to be decided by Modern Horizons. All right, this is my first Modern Horizons pack. Let's see what we get. Lightning Skill and Mental. That's not going to get there. Fountain of Vicar. Mother Bear. And recruit the worthy. All right, let's put the skeletal there and move on to the next pack. Sword Mountain Marriott Ledge of Slumber. I'm gonna be honest. I think Battle Bond is better than Modern Horizons. As far as um, you know, overall value throughout the set. There may be a few higher costed cards out of this one, and especially the foils. But I think Altar of Dementia, that's a decent little hit. I think Battle Bond has this beat as far as pack to pack value. It seems like you go through a handful of bad packs in Modern Horizons to finally hit a good one. Goblin Engineer. I really thought this guy was going to do something. I need somebody to, uh, to make a deck out of with Goblin Engineer. Make it work. Somebody make that happen. Last pack here. And then we will get my total up on the screen. And then we will see what Redbeard's total is. Hogak. He, which will not be named, he got banned so fast, he didn't know what happened. It was like a $30 card for a while. No longer. All right, Redbeard. Last packs here, brother. Happy birthday to you. Thanks for, uh, thanks for doing this with me. It's going to be a longer video than usual. Dead of winter to start things off. Urza's Rage used to be a very expensive rare out of Invasion. I think it was Invasion. Yeah, it was Invasion. Not Plane Shifter Apocalypse. It was, the, it was the first one. Hard to believe Invasion was all the way back in the year 2000. 20 years ago. I was just graduating high school. Tempered Sliver. Oh, there's a partner. Or a uh, Horizon Land. Fiery Islet. Very nice hit for Redbeard. Another hit or two like that. It may get him into the lead. Could have the Force of Negation. 
Could have the Windows Vista. It could have a Mirrodin Besieged in it. I think that's a double tap on the Mirrodin. I think I've got one. I got one of those in my packs. That is not the kind of rare you want to double tap, if we're being completely honest. Zombie. Swamp. Hoo hoo. Foil Altar of Dementia. So that means. Redbeard is going to have a bonus rare, and it is Miss Syndicate Naga. Wow, that's a beautiful, beautiful foil altar. Nice. Very nice. Not the worst foil rare, that's for sure. We will take it. All right, guys. Like I said, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Like the channel. Leave me a comment so you can get on the giveaways. Ooh, a foil Arkham's Astrolabe. That was probably worth the money before they banned it. And a Ayula Queen Among Bears. Please check out the affiliate links for Magnolia Gaming and for Amazon. And I really appreciate everybody being here watching my videos. You make all this happen. And for Redbeard's birthday, I picked some of these up a while back. And I thought they were kind of neat. So I'm going to give them a couple of these. what they call a bag clip. Or I guess you could use them for a keychain. So let's see if we can get something cool for Redbeard out of here. Alright, let's see. We got a Vraska. See, it's got a little D ring or a hook on it there. Let's see what a second one is. Ah, oh, it's another Vraska. No, we can't have that. Hold on. I'll be right back. Give me 10 seconds. We can't double tap a Vraska for him. We need to get something else. All right, let's try it one more time. All right, here we go. Oh, that's really neat. I haven't seen her yet. That's Nahiri. Wow. All right, so happy birthday, Redbeard. Thanks for doing this. We'll see who won. I don't even know yet. And we'll see you guys next time.